I've had a lot of requests on how to make a thinner crust pizza, so I'm going to just do a very quick recipe for today. I have 250 milliliters of water, that's also 250 grams, or one cup, right into my KitchenAid bowl. And this water right now is at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. To that, I've got all-purpose flour. This is three cups or 450 grams. I'm just going to put about two-thirds of that in. To that, I'm going to add in a half a teaspoon of quick rising yeast. That's 2.5 milliliters. And then I'm going to add in three tablespoons of vegetable oil. And there's three. And that's 45 milliliters. In order for our yeast to start working, to start reproducing, we need sugar. So I'm going to add in three teaspoons and that's 15 milliliters. So I'll just get that in. Perfect. And for today's recipe, I'm just doing this on the fly. So I'm just measuring everything out off camera while I'm doing the recipe live right now. I'm going to get this set up on my KitchenAid mixer. In my dough hook on. And I'm just going to start getting this going. So I'm just going to let this go for about a minute or so and then I'll come back. Okay, so that's been mixing about a minute. Now what I have here is a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to pour that into the rest of our flour that we still need to add. And that's good. And then I'm just going to get all of this right into our mixer. So right in. So that's a total of three cups, or 450 grams. I'm going to lift this up again. So I'm just going to let this go for a couple of minutes and then I'll come back. So this is about a minute later and you can already see that our dough ball is starting to form. So at this point, the dough looks really, really good. I can just give it a little squeeze but I can tell that it's not all mixed properly. So I'm gonna let my machine go for about another six minutes and then I'll come back and I'll show you the really, really nice dough that has formed. Okay, this is about six minutes later and you can see the dough is really, really nice. What I'll do is I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna bring it out and I want to show you a lot closer up and you can see how nice this dough is. I'll try to do that without actually turning off the camera just so you can see. So when you're removing the dough ball you want to just get right underneath it and just kind of bring it up on itself. Bring it out. You can see how nice it is inside. It's not very dirty. So everything is like really clung together and we have a really really nice dough ball ready to go. So there's our cute little dough ball. Just get it all together and then I'm just going to eyeball it and cut it in half. So we're going to get two nice pizzas out of this. Then I'll just get it in the middle, bring it around underneath just like that. So push, flip it in and around like that. And then I have taken two bowls and I have greased them. So just oiled them with a little bit of vegetable cooking spray. So there's one there and one there. And that's just so that the dough ball doesn't stick to the actual, you know, the bottom of the bowl. And then I'm just going to spray on the top of each one. And I guess I should just show you, I just did one and then the other one. So I've just got some pan cooking spray here. So you just give it a little spritz on the top. And what this does is it prevents a crust forming on the dough and it allows the dough to rise up and get larger. And now I'm going to cover both of these with a little bit of plastic wrap. And I'll just get my piece of plastic wrap on there. That's good. And our second one. And I'm going to be using these tonight. So I'm going to make one of these on camera I guess and I will roll it out and actually make a pizza just to show you the complete process. 
So now at this point, I'm just going to let these go. And it doesn't really matter how long. I'm going to let them go for maybe about an hour and a half. And then when I'm ready to make dinner, I'm going to use one of these. So that's it for now. And I'll come back a little later on. So we're about an hour and a half later. And I'm just going to open up one of these just to show you what it looks like. And a really, really nice dough. And if I press into it, you can see how it just kind of springs back. And it's really, really nice. Oh, and it's perfect right now. And we're going to start making a pizza with this one dough ball right here. So I'll get rid of the other one. I'm going to set up and I'm going to come back in one second. The first thing I want to say is that my oven is set to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and it's been going like that for about 15 minutes. I have a pizza pan here and what I've done is I've just oiled it with a little bit of cooking spray. We're going to grab our dough. And you can see how nice this dough is. Look at this. Really, really nice. And what's important when you're doing a pizza, you don't want to start playing with the actual shape. Just get it down on your pizza tray. And now what you want to do is just start going around and just slowly pushing down and pushing outward. So you push. Can you see how nice this dough is? I wish you could feel this. This is really nice. And now what I'm doing is I'm, so I'm just pushing and pushing outward at the same time. And you can do it with two hands if you wish as well. So just go around. And so as I'm using two hands, I'm kind of pushing and going like this. So you, you push and push down and pull outward like that. I'll just do it with one hand. So you just go around. And what I'm trying to do here is create a little bit of a rim here on the outer edge. So just around. And this is going to make a really nice thin crust pizza. So just around. And for me this is a very very fun part. It's very relaxing. I always enjoy this. This is actually the most enjoyable part of doing a pizza for me anyway. So just go around and you can see how large we're getting that dough ball. And we have two dough balls that will make two pizzas this size. And as to the actual shape, well you can do you can do the you can do one this size or if you want it a little bit thicker, you could make it a little bit smaller. But I'm just going to keep going like this until I think it's a good size. And that looks pretty good just like that. That's a really good sized pizza. This is a really easy going video for me tonight so I'm just relaxing and taking my time so I thought I would just chat a little bit more. This is a uh, Rubbermaid little container and I found this over at Walmart and what I love about this is that it's a screw on lid and I just love these and they're perfect for sauce. So if you make a whole pile of homemade sauce you can just put them in these containers and then you can just pop them into your freezer. So really, really nice. Anyway, we're going to grab some of this sauce and just get it on. And I do have a recipe for my homemade sauce on my channel. If you want to check that out, I guess I'll put a link to that in the description box below my video. So we'll just get some of that on. So that's our first step. And when you're putting your sauce on, you don't want to go right to the edge. Like that is perfect. And I think that's good enough. And then our cheese. And to make this really simple, we're just going to grate our cheese right onto the pizza. And I'm using mozzarella. So as much as you... So as much or as little as you want. And just start grating that directly on there. So I'm going to whip through this. And I'll come back when I'm finished putting all of this on. So I think that looks pretty good. And then we are ready for our last ingredient, our pepperoni. I've already sliced them up here and I'm just going to start placing this on our pizza. And I do have my oven set to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. This is ready to go. 
And now I'm going to pop my pizza into my 425 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 11 minutes. And 11 minutes later, and here we have our really nice pizza. Let me zoom in. All right, I've just zoomed in just to show you how nice this pizza is. So you can see here, nothing magical with the ingredients. You can do it too. If I can do it at home, you can do it too. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just let this cool for about two minutes. I'm going to cut a slice. I'll finish off the video and that'll be it. So to end off my video, I just wanted to show you indeed, thin crust, nicely done on the bottom, perfectly done on the top. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you wish. I really do appreciate that. That's it and I'll see you next time.